Hello my friends, my name is Darren from RC Scare Models and today we're going to be taking a look at this old kit from a Tallery 135 scale DUKW Amphibious truck uh, or duck as it's called as. This boxing as you see in front of you is the original boxing regional boxing from 2002 so this is a uh, box is the uh, very first one new tool like i say in 2002 uh, the kit got released again in 2004 got released again in 2006 released again in 2008 and then it's been released again in 2014 it is quite a hard kit to get hold of um i've been trying to find this kit for a long time i managed to find one on ebay obviously um paid a little bit more than i should have done but sometimes we do that um as i say i've been trying to find this kit for a long time it goes with my um allied amphibious vehicles i did one on a while back on tamir's amphibious vehicle the uh little little transport type vehicle um the ford amphibious vehicle um but I, i've always wanted to get the bigger version um these are quite common still around in real life they are used for uh, reenactments and uh, tour guides and stuff so they are pretty good vehicles uh, as I say this is what we get on this side of the box it is the original boxing uh, kit number 6392 it is 135 scale vehicle length is 26.5 centimeters it's a quite a long truck a little bit of history on the vehicle in different languages if you wish to read it pause it as i say because this is a uh, pre-owned and an older kit there are not in bags the stuff is all loose so you get your worksheet and loads of plastic so we'll take a closer look at this now Okay, this is your worksheet, folks. There's a little bit more history on the uh, vehicle. If you wish to read, uh, read it, pause the video. Here's a pull-out page. We get more information. You've got these return label type things, I think they are, or some sort. You get your colours down the bottom. Um, so you have to do references. You get your sprue map on next page your first section is the uh, upper hole they're asking for you to put the windshield in straight away uh, strangely enough i don't know why you would want to do that straight away turn it over and your internal parts your seat and all the uh, levers uh, step two we are working on more structural parts in the dash uh, and it's showing you make sure you've got it lined up step three you've got support piece surrounding the engine bay the engine is in the front of this vehicle you have another windshield piece going in we have more structural parts for the back compartment area where all the troops will sit or cargo or whatever we have towing equipment uh, tools, lights, more structural parts, spare wheel, anchor, because again it is an amphibious vehicle. Step four, we have the side windows, the little triangle piece windows, mirrors, the guards that go over the lights. Um, so basically I recommend all this detail part you'd want to leave till you've stuck the hole together pretty much. I'll go straight to this section here, put, build this drop the hole down and then you can put all the detail parts and if you put all these detail parts on then try and sandwich it on you might end up breaking it off so I would skip ahead but anyway following the instructions you've got the front nose of the uh, vehicle or splash plate the rear of the vehicle we have jerry cans tow uh, tow winch type thing we have more lights um, and that's the finished product lower hole like i just mentioned before i'd recommend you do this first 
the lower hole side places very simple the running gear two-piece wheels we have the uh, axle and stuff and leaf springs coming in on the bottom the rear of the vehicle is the propeller system pretty simple this is the rear axle again leaf springs drivetrain and stuff it's a double axle at the back with double amount of wheels um, and then the all assembly that you previously done you drop on top so I'd like I say I'd snap these two halves together and then build the stuff around it I'd, I'd recommend you do it that way or it might be easier to do it that way but again once you've sandwiched the whole halves of yellow you've got these like tie downs we've got a little bit of a uh, tie down on the front we have these plastic pieces of rope front and rear and the orange colour call outs unfortunately it's all all the same colour these ones these two uh this one from normandy 1944 so it's typical uh olive drab this one here germany 1945 again it's olive drab or you've got this one here from the marines shajimi 1945 this one's got camouflage in it it's a little bit more different i suppose because i like my uh, normandy stuff and allied stuff even though it's all allies i'll probably end up doing normandy one anyway we have um, information for whatever country you're in if you have uh, issues with the kit for Metallery so it's their headquarters for each, each of the countries I don't know if they're still there and the information is correct because like I say this is an older kit now so the information may be completely wrong now and all changed so it is an older kit um, the stuff is not in bags these are the decals they are totally at it now but um, I'm gonna have to source better decals I can't see these being any good but it shouldn't be a, there'd be a problem we have the uh, clear parts they're no problem they're just flat pieces of glass and a couple of lights. First sprue would be the uh, lower section and the upper section. It's quite a large vehicle. So this is the detail for the lower hole. It's pretty good for its age and for what it was back then. As I say, this is the, the original moulding. So you're not going to get any, any better than this. Here's the uh, rear deck for troops and cargo. So like I say, I'd recommend you sandwich these two halves together and the side parts before doing all the... Uh, detail parts. These are the side. And again, this is the, the other the other one. Um, and like I say, I've been trying to find this kit for a long time. I don't know how well it goes together. It could be really horrible for all I know. But hopefully it's not. But the detail is pretty good. You have this grill type step area. The propeller system doesn't look too bad. I think this is part of the engine engine deck. I think this is the splash plate. This is what you get for the windshield section. And armor plating. Here's an anchor. The steering wheel, the winch system, dash. We have this is part of the dash as well. This is one of the bench seats. I think this is the driver's seat. So it doesn't look too bad. There's only three sprues in this kit. And this one contains all your wheels and axles and stuff and exhaust. So 
unfortunately two piece wheels we're going to have to glue them together shouldn't be no problem but the detail is pretty good this is what you get for these springs this is the axles or axle assembly these are the it looks like the inner parts of the wheels this is what you get for those rope segments that go around the edge like the buoy the buoys or buoys like the uh here's the spare wheel i believe they've molded that as one piece almost there is a bit of a kind of a seam line down the middle you're gonna have to take care of that should be no problem jerry's more leaf springs axles and exhaust pipes more support pieces these are the tools light guards more rope pieces so that's pretty cool it's more like the third main sprue we have these two side pieces that come off the sprue there Little support gussets. So there you are, my friends. An old vintage kit, or one of the or the original kit from Atalari. Kit number six three nine two one thirty five scale D U K W amphibious vehicle, well known as Duck. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you later.